Welcome back everybody into another daily wake up today is Thursday the 11th of August and we're going to have a look at what happened today on gold as you can see price uh, was already charting up supply supply and demand areas because at the start of New York session we were about here about 1795 I think we were already above 1795 and we were possibly reaching these previous lower lows that's why it was a small supply area because it was not really something relevant and we had this supply area due to the previous lower high in the downtrend and the big supply area as you can see here that was charted up at um, above 1800 price point the demand areas were on the 15 minute 1790 where the price left uh, very aggressively during the London session left the, the actually during pre-New pre York left very aggressively the price action so there was a chance that price would bounce would go and retest this level and uh, had another small demand area where the price could react and the big big strong demand area uh, 1783 let's jump into the one minute as you can see this was the supply area this was the price action uh, in pre-new york as you can see price left this area quite aggressively left these last higher lows went and made an uptrend but facing a, a very much a very slow down price was slowing down a lot during the new york open up until 2.30 which was the PPI data today uh, very similar to the inflation data of yesterday but less impacting on the market and as you can see 2.30 went and grabbed the liquidity on the left hand side if you go and see that's exactly this previous price points there you go as well as basically in the middle of the PPL uh, I didn't take this trade, I didn't take trades, but I, just, I was just looking at trade ideas and I'm going to tell you why in a, in a second. But as you can see, price grabbed the liquidity at the supply area. And there you go. This already this closure, I mean, if you had this price sensitivity area chatted up, I didn't have already. But I, when the price reacted over there, I went to see why and where. If there was a reason price reacted exactly there and I found it. And I charted for the future, so that's why I had this on the right hand side. As you can see, price closed very aggressive with a very strong rejection. And um, let me also do one thing. Do, do, do. Okay, uh, price closed with a strong rejection over there and then went all the way down 45 pips and what i was looking for when price went this is right before the new um four hour open and i saw that the price was rejecting there that's where i put my uh hypothetical um there you go my hypothetical sell limit so this was the chatting up London this was during New York open I also had these previous sort of attempts but as you can see these were two losses of course in trading view and I'm going to tell you why I didn't trade these were sort of scalping trade ideas compared to the big uh, intraday ideas anyway this would have been a loss a loss wouldn't look like 10 pips but uh, if I'm looking to reach the 40 pips to this to the demand, that was not enough, and price kept going. And these were not that's why because these were not a relevant PSA, as it was this one, and these previous price points. That's why, as soon as I saw the price was there, I understood that the price was most likely to react at these previous highs compared to these previous small PSA. That's where I placed my and trade idea and as you can see went 
60 pips all the way down to demand well i already had i already had from before this idea that if the price you can see is always there uh, from here even if the price reaches the, that demand area that's a buy and as you can see here exactly there you place your buy limit a few pips above the level because you, you don't want the spread to um, miss your entry and there you go 60 pips will go even further will go like 70 pips from your entry 79 80 pips and again this is the new 10 a.m candle almost opening maybe you are afraid to you want to wait for the actual open which was this candle the 10 a.m candle when you see that and i was also talking about if the 10 a.m candle fails to break this area because now this area is already chatted up this one was not this one it is because it's from the previous uh things on the uh, on the left hand side and if the 10 a.m fails to break fails to make a new higher low and higher highs then there's a higher chance that the price will continue down and as you can see you had your uh, all the way retest of the case you had this end of pullback you had the pullback at a relevant psa which is not only i mean as you can see this one was not that relevant before but it is relevant if you consider it now of the lows let me just remove a few things okay if you consider the lows of this order block that's the retest retesting the lows of the order block so that's where you are looking for the pullback and the pullback to fail to break again you have one here and the second entry is exactly over there you have your stop loss that covers as you can see covers even this previous psa and then goes back at least to demand you place your you have like 60 pips to go back to the demand area where the price can possibly bounce back as you can see for a quick scalp it even did like 20 pips but then fail to make new highs but found is uh, this wall this resistance at this ppl 1793 and even broke below the demand area so as you can see this demand area had been retested already twice and failing to hold again there was no liquidity left and there you go that's when the supply turns the demand turns supply so this area was for bouncing up once it's broken ta -ta -ta, it's for continuation bearish because the liquidity is inverting and as you can see this one can easily be uh, put at this at the ppl and that will give you even a f uh, a better better uh, idea you should place one here one there to cover both but it's the ppl the main um the main participant here and as you can see price failed to break multiple times acting at the slow because the volume is not here anymore but strong supply 23 pips and there you go this demand area of course is not holding and it was holding maybe it was poorly charted maybe i didn't consider some weeks on the 15 minutes yeah possibly probably yeah this level fail to consider this ppl as a as a demand area in this case it would have been pretty nice if placed a couple pips above four pips above and then you can even take the full retracement if the price reached the, the demand this demand was charted up from yesterday already and that's that is what happened during london pre-london as you can see price this is during asian during london price went to our demand area and grab liquidity for over 140 pips to the upside as you can see to new york open but it's new york that matters for us 
and that's exactly what we were looking for so we were looking for the cells here at the previous resistance all the way down 60 pips and this trade idea already there from way 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 back in time that's where the best trade ideas are when they are pre pre planned so even prices going very aggressive bearish we are new york stock exchange that's your buy entry but you place your buy limit there you go if i had the ppl probably uh, I would have, yeah, even the candle, but anyway, you have, you have the PPL as a reference, you can place it a few pips above, because you don't want the price to just go there, and your this is your buy, and uh, your buy limit, but the buy with the spread is there, so it just continues going back up, and it fails to make, to uh, activate your entry so that's that will suck but anyway understanding 60 60 and the reason why i didn't take anything is because of this i'm doing a transition from scalping into more in day trading slash uh, looking at relevant psa's this was my demand looking for better uh, entry and holding that holding them longer so as you can see 60 pips no trade, no partial staking, no blah blah blah. Just go to TP or stop loss. That's it. That's the most important and relevant part. But this is it, guys, for today. Very short and crispy. I see you guys tomorrow, Friday.